Hello everyone and thanks for joining us in one more video here at Crab Nebula. I am Lufteria, Community Manager, and today I have the pleasure to have with me Prabhu, where we will talk about his project and then we will talk just a little bit about Crab Nebula projects as well. All right, without the further ado, let's get started. Prabhu, would you like to introduce yourself and share a little bit about your background? Hi, Lakhtiriya. This is Prabhu Kiran. I work at Capgemini as a ML engineer. I recently graduated in 2023, completed my bachelor's. And I play oftentimes when I get time, I do stuff like web development or basically building apps like using Tauri, etc. Yeah, like this is like a bit about me. And uh, since you mentioned Tauri, um, how did you discover Tauri? How did you start using Tauri? And what projects have you built with it? I discovered Tauri when I was searching for electron alternatives. Uh, because I know web development, I don't want to learn any other free, like uh, any other technology to build native applications. So I looked up uh, electron alternatives and Tauri came up and I looked into it. And it feels very promising. Uh, Tauri is very lightweight as well. So I like, you know, took a look around it and like started building it. I built Tauri V1 version one. Uh, that was like a kind of a testing phase application when I'm like get, just getting my head around Tauri. And then this nail AI I recently built, uh, which is using Tauri version two. Perfect. And uh, do you want to go to your last project, Snail AI, and talk a little bit about this? Maybe also you could share your screen so we can see what is this project all about? Uh, so this is like uh, Snail AI. Uh, sorry for the weird name. I built this mainly to test uh, local LLMs and obviously uh, OpenAI and other API-based LLMs uh, because I want like like I said, I want I just want to test the new models which comes out frequently. So like here's a brief like if this is the starting screen where you have like different just like it asks for you to set up Olama and uh, open AI and if you save uh, this is the chat interface that uh, you would usually see and like you can you chat with the Olama models. Here this Olama is not in currently like I can now Olama is running. I can select like uh, these are the local models that are available uh, in my system. Uh, let's say Gemma two. Let's say hi. Yeah, it takes a bit of time because system is too slow. It, uh, this is like you know you can chat with any uh, lo local models or even like you know OpenAI and Croc. Uh, like currently Croc and OpenAI are disabled. Let me enable it uh, through settings and let just enable it here you can see like a various model available uh, in Grok in your account and if you select something like yeah Grok is super fast so it gave me response super quick so this is like an overview and also since uh, it is based on Olama you can also manage your Olama models manage all of them so like these are the models that are available in my system if i click delete uh, the model gets deleted and also the best feature of this uh, uh, snail ai is you can download uh, or pull models directly into a system uh, into a laptop using this let me search for a small model this is one of the smallest models that i could find mm -hmm. So if I just copy the name and like paste here and click download, it will pull the model from the internet. So it is pulling the model. It is around like 92 MB. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, you can see the model here. And right away, this model is available for us in the chat uh, chatbot. And also, you can verify this same thing in the Olama console as well. See, we have the small LLM just modified 18 seconds ago. Like this yeah. is some kind of uh, cool uh, use case of this application. And also, like, uh, and one other important like main feature is you can chat with vision models. Uh, let's say Olama, and I have this Lava 7B. 
which is a multi model which can like describe images as well so if i select this and click this like nice little dot image Uh, as you can see, there are two golden retriever puppies sitting among flowers in the bottom of this to be a park. Yeah, wow, that's very nice. Yes, it is. So, like, uh, you can delete the uh, chats, something like this. And the best feature is like, uh, this is using Tauri SQL, uh, SQL plugin, so that lets you store the store configuration or like app configurations chats and all in your sql database yeah what other technologies are you using except of tauri except of tauri like uh, obviously tauri and svelte kit for the front end and few other plugins for rust uh, in rust for, i used one plugin called tauri decorum plugin uh, which lets you you know uh, like have this nice frameless border design like i can show you the difference I have this yeah. snail AI too. You can like notice the differences between uh, this application and this application. You have this, mm -hmm. you know, like a not so good looking title bar. You don't have this. Like it gives you a uh, nice native looking uh, look. I use yeah. this as well. And is this open source? Uh, yes, it is open source. All right, we will leave the link on GitHub down in the description below for the people that are watching us right now. Maybe they can go and check it out. Do you know if other people are using it at the moment? Uh, maybe, yes. I don't know. <laughs> uh, people can download the like DMG file and they can use it on their local system. How long did it took you to build this? I worked on it on and off uh, because of a full-time job. So probably like three four days oh, okay it didn't took you a long time it's a real oh, nice yes. project it has a lot of features so i thought maybe it took you more time and now i have another question which is um if you are familiar with crab nebula dev tools and if you ever used it it's uh, like really helpful tools for developers like you know debugging tauri applications such that and also, like I recently looked at Tower, uh, like Grab Nebula Cloud as well, which you can, which lets you like publish your releases, new updates mm -hmm. for your app, which I definitely need at some point while I like you know planning to build more applications. And if you have an uh, open source project, then uh, also there are some discounts for Grab Nebula Cloud, so this is also quite cool. And last question is if you have any plans for the future for Snail AI or building any other app. Definitely, I want to like, you know, extend the Snail AI. Uh, currently, this, uh, this is just like bare minimum of Tauri features. I want to extend it uh, with the uh, adding sidecars, uh, mm -hmm. which lets you, you know, which lets you to add external binaries such as like, you know, Node.js or Python based scripts running directly so like you know like just create a tauri commands and use that in the front end because since it is a chatbot kind of thing i also want to extend this with the rag so that you can users can chat with their documents mm, yeah that yes. would be nice yes for that i need like you know node.js scripts and like definitely tauri sidecar feature is like a very helpful thing Thank you for sharing your future plans with us. Uh, that was it for this interview. And again, for the people that are watching us right now, do check the description. There will be links for all the things that we discussed today. This is also uh, the last video of this uh, season, season two of Building with Tyree. Thank you everyone for watching us from episode one to episode eight. Have a lovely day. And again, thank you, Prabhu, for this interview. Thank you. Bye-bye.